Day five, congratulations for making it five days in a row. That consistency is essential for the transformation of your posture. Most people will give up, they'll have excuses. Resistance will appear in different forms and get in the way of you showing up and doing the work you need to do. Transforming your posture, no matter how severe your kyphosis or scoliosis is, is probably more simpler than you think, but does require more time than you think. It requires time and consistency. And the question is, is it worth it? I would say 1000% yes. Even though this life is temporary, these fixes, these, you know, looking better, it's all temporary and it's extreme amount of work over time to do it, it's still worth it. We're only here for a short period of time uh, and the ability to do this, the process of doing this needs to be done. This process will share and gift you so many things into your life. You will become a new person. You will go deeper into the discovery of yourself, of who you are, of different healing methods. It will take you into a profound experience of yourself and this life and i wholeheartedly recommend the journey so let's dive into day five we're going to focus on fortifying our new posture that we're building and as always i like to start with uh, a castle breath ah, letting go of any attempts of a posture ah. Ah, letting go, letting go. The way up is down. Letting go of any tensions that are going to get in the way. Revisit the myofascial medicine ball work, some of the twisting myofascial maneuvers. Uh, if you're still feeling tightness before you move into the fortification. But I want to give you everything here in this five-day reboot that you'll have all of the tools you need. And the first tool is your breath. <sighs> okay, so from the bottom, we're gonna build each brick with one breath. We're gonna do a bit of an express castle breath uh, today to get through it and get moving into some of these fortification exercises. We're going to build each colored brick with one breath and we're going to start at the bottom with our red brick and we're going to inflate all of the bricks from the back of the bottom red brick. So we're going to breathe into the lower back and we're going to inflate the entire tower one breath at a time, but we're going to inflate it from the bottom back of the red brick. Here we go. Hundred percent in, twenty percent out. Orange, yellow, green. seventh golden brick that extends the other side of the universe and makes our castle weightless. We become pure breath. We put a cherry on top with our smile, extending our jaw, tongue in the roof of the mouth. We're grateful for the opportunity to be on this earth. 
and to be on this journey of embracing our highest potential. Now, while we are in our weightless highest form, let's activate our postural pyramid to carry this, this, this breath into our day. We're going to activate our postural pyramid and that's the glutes, the lower abdominal and the middle upper thoracic back. So whilst we're in the state of relaxed, elongated state, we're going to activate the glutes, squeezing them, tucking them down, feeling that elongation in the lower back. We're going to brace the lower abs, pushing our pelvis and hips down. Again, feeling the elongation this way. And then we're going to we're going to extend that middle upper thoracic back without pushing the shoulders too far back or up against our ears. We're going to get that middle, those are spinal erector muscles, those muscles, those thin, long muscles along the spine. We're going to have them open up our chest and we're going to be breathing into the back of our yellow and green bricks right where our diaphragm is, creating even more elongation. So we have an elongated castle breath. And then with the postural pyramid, we're extending it longer and upwards. We're actually activating our muscles in the hip hinge position, which allows us to actually, just like taking a car off, off the wheels, off the, uh, we jack up the car so we can change the wheels. Same thing with the hip hinge. This hip hinge is amazing for that. We should feel decompression and elongation. If you ever have back pain, this is a great go-to movement to be doing to decompress and restore flow in your body. Okay. So I'm squeezing those muscles and then returning to a standing neutral. So in a couple minutes there, I've rebooted my posture. I've dropped it, I've collapsed it completely and I've activated and engaged a new one. Now, am I going to be walking around like this? No, but am I going to have the awareness of those, those parts of my body to elongate uh, my posture throughout the day? Absolutely. If I'm standing in line at the grocery store, I'm going to be just bringing my attention to my breath, bring my attention to those, to those areas and elongating. Why not? Why not? It's all about being present. Be present in your body. If you're, if, you're, if you're standing like this, this is the posture that you're choosing. This is the posture that you're building. This is the, the way you're negotiating with gravity every day. So, boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Okay, let's go into some fortification. These, these movements uh, are going to be your go-to skills, your go-to kind of toolbox for when you want to fortify um, your, your better posture. So, uh, find a, find a, a, a sofa, uh, a wall, even something where around your knee height, where you can actually lean in. And what we're doing here is that we're actually really activating, um, the glutes. So in particular, we want to be activating the forward, the forward leg. So the back leg is more about the leg that is, um, that's kind of like the training wheel is kind of guiding you in, but really the majority of the work is happening on this glute as you go back. And I want to see that a real elongation space creation here. Oh. 
So this is actually, this is activating one glute at a time. If you haven't got a great amount of mind muscle connection, um, this one is great for the activating your mind glute connection, which will help you in the postural pyramid. Um, many of us with imbalances, uh, scoliosis, kyphosis, usually get a tight lower back and hamstrings. Um, when in reality, uh, the glutes should be doing the majority of the work. That's why we called it the five day posture reboot because our new posture is built from the booty up. The booty is really taking the majority of it. Our real posture is from the, from the toes to the tongue, but the, uh, but the booty should be doing a lot of work uh, with that. So this is a great one for activating each glute individually. Nice and slow. The point here isn't the reps. The point is for you to build that mind-glute connection, build that strength, activate as many muscle fibers in there. You'll also notice a larger booty as well as you do this. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, keep that pelvis and hips uh, stable as you're doing that. Um, balance is going to be a wonderful way to fortify your new posture. Uh, this is the, the flamingo. Um, this is a great one. Any kind of balancing on one leg uh, is going to be amazing. Um, we have some variations um, in the Height Maximus protocol, if you'd like to continue um, this practice, um, there's a lot of different ways you can you can unravel, align, and fortify, which ultimately is the thing that anyone with a compromised posture should be doing uh, for the rest of their lives. Yeah, even anyone with a normal a normal posture or an uncompromised posture is going to benefit from from unraveling, aligning, and fortifying every day. We all need to go to the gym anyway. We all need to keep moving anyway. Uh, it's about doing things that are going to be promoting alignment and elongation. And balancing on one leg is amazing. There's different ways you can balance one leg. You can do some of these, some of these. You can go even into those. All of those are amazing um, things to practice that are naturally going to create alignment in the body. So let's move on to the front plank. Okay, and we're going to activate that postural pyramid on our knees, glutes, abs, mid-thoracic. And we're looking for a straight line from the back of the head to the back of the shoulders to the glutes. Creating elongation, bracing the core, diaphragmatic breathing, through the sides and the back. Expansion, elongation, alignment. It's great for kyphosis. Going for a minute. A lot of people come to me and they're like, oh, I need more exercises, more exercises. And like, so much of the results, 80% of the results are going to come from 20% of the exercises. And over the past five days, I've given you those 20% of the exercises. It's about showing up. It's about doing them consistently and doing them well, doing them with uh, presence, doing them with intention understanding what we're doing with that postural pyramid, the glutes, the abs, and that mid thoracic. What are we doing? How are we, how are we creating that elongation? Can we get more elongation? How are we breathing? <sighs> These subtle, subtle activations, 
awarenesses are going to be transforming our posture over time. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, let's go for a side plank. We'll go for the, for the gentler version, elbows and knees. We can also go hands and feet if you want to, but we'll just go elbows and knees for that gentle fortification. Again, it's not about trying to do the, uh, you know, the loudest and the, uh, and the craziest moves. It's about consistently showing up, getting into the details. Where is my alignment right now? Where's my head? Am I still leaning forward? So many little details in our body. We want those straight lines. We want that elongation. We want that diaphragmatic breathing. We want that core engaged, bringing in alignment. We want to feel that alignment happening. Okay, if you can only do 20 seconds, do 20 seconds, rest and reset and go back to the other side. So these are fortifying the sides, the obliques. The front blank was really fortifying our front. This is fortifying the sides, especially our lumbar. It's really um, strengthening here and here. Okay, while we're at it, we'll go to the Flying side planks, we're moving the center of gravity higher up into our thoracic. The results are in the details. Where's the alignment? Where's that head at? Where's the breathing at? How many times are you doing it each day? How many times are you doing it each week? Are you just going to do it for a week and stop and think that it's not working? I didn't see any changes. I'm not patient. Are you going to let resistance win? Will excuses get in the way? Will you give up right when your body's learning to build new strength, new muscle fibers? When it comes to fortification, same rules in the gym apply. Progressive overload and time under tension. What does that mean? It means progressive overload means each time you go to the gym, you're increasing either the weight or the volume, the amount of uh, work you're doing on a particular exercise. And time under tension is that 30, 60, 90 seconds to trigger hypertrophy and muscle growth. We're looking at at least 60 seconds. And you see that wobbling, that shaking. That's when you know it's going well. That's when you know. All right, there it is. 15 or 20 minutes a day will change your life, it'll change your posture. Um, when you win this, when you, when you show up for yourself, you take care of yourself, you build a posture um, that is stronger and taller, you become proud of the body you're living in and that pride is confidence and that confidence is also reflected in your posture. The benefit is you're ready for anything, you can play sports, play activities, do gardening. You'll have the strength that you need for long-term living to be able to move 
in freedom in your body, um, to be able to get off the floor, to be able to sit down and stand up, right? The amount of, the amount of limbs that you need, the amount of different movements you need to get from the floor to standing up is a massive determining factor of your longevity. So I invite you to start playing the long game now. I know this stuff takes time to get results and that's why most people don't end up doing it unfortunately and they experience consequences down the road just as I did when I tried ignoring it um, throughout my 20s and it really caught up to me uh, in my 30s. Now I prioritize it. I haven't started my day until I've taken care of myself, until I've uh, done something uh, for me and my body in this way. And I look better and feel better because of it. So congratulations for getting this far. Uh, please leave a post in the, in the dojo about your experience going through this, this reboot. Let us know what happened in your body, what happened in your mind and your perspective. Um, that's really important to share with other people so they can see, um, see for themselves and get that inspiration. Um, because yes, I know it is, it's new, it's a new path. Um, and, and people haven't done it before. So if you've taken this five day journey, please share in the dojo. If you would like to continue and extend your practice, go deeper into some of these exercises, unravel deeper, align more and fortify even more function into your body. I do invite you to, to set up a call uh, with uh, me and our team. Uh, we can take a look at your specific posture situation. We can go over a personalized game plan um, for your situation and help you overcome uh, whatever compromise that you might be dealing with in your posture so that you can build a peaceful and powerful posture. Thank you for showing up and getting it done.